Hello. Welcome to my cellar. Seven weeks in the hole. Did somebody do a song about that? Well, not in the hole, but actually, seven weeks on lockdown now, 49 days. We got nine more to go. Uh, things start, things will finally be somewhat loosened by the 12th here in Ohio. They're gradually, they're gradually phasing stuff in. But hey, good news for all you people that were worried about this particular problem. The dog groomers and the hairdressers are open. <laughs> Saw the most ridiculous article or a letter to the editor in the paper two days ago about a woman who was going just having just losing her stuff over the fact that she couldn't go get her hair cut. And didn't people know that if your hair got frizzy and splits on the end and if you didn't cut it often enough, it quit growing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Um, but hey, now she's getting her hair cut, so I hope she's feeling better. Whatever floats your boat. Some of the states have relaxed faster and quicker. Some of them are still being cautious. We're being somewhat cautious. Um, I know that here in Ohio, a lot of people say, I don't care if you do open up. I'm not going out for a while. And I know that a lot of people here in Ohio will wear masks when they go out. And uh, I wish that they would make it mandatory here in Ohio. But because a mother of an autistic child complained to the governor that her child couldn't deal with this or couldn't deal with the... Anyway, we, we now they're suggested. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't deal well with masks. But they'll be alive to talk about it afterwards. That's the first bad call I've seen him make. Um, let's see what else is going on. Well, not a hell of a lot, is there? It's just the same old stuff in quarantine. Oh, well, not actually quarantine. In shelter in place. Yes, I should call it what it is. Um... I'm back to reading kids' stories and taping that and, and recording, recording them and posting them, and um, running out of <laughs> running out of books to read because we didn't have a lot of kids' books in the house when all this started. And uh, even though I grabbed a handful, four I think at the library uh, just before they closed up. Uh, I've read all those, and I've read all the other ones, and I can't find the books, the box of books that we thought we saved. So, in any event, um, I, I've been talking to a lot of people who've been doing a lot of cleaning out and straightening up and going through old stuff. So, I guess there can be an upside to this if you're organizing your collections and, you know, finding, culling out your duplicates and what what have you. Saw a very sobering 60 minutes tonight and, and realized just how fortunate Cheryl and I are. Um, and uh, even though we might be in the most, one of the most second, second most susceptible or people that don't want to get it because of our age, etc. Um, we're not worried about making our next set of, you know, our next set of payments and, and what have you, like somebody that, like so many people are right now, and believe me, I feel for them. <laughs> we haven't always been uh, this fortunate to not feel the pinch of when's the next check coming. And occasionally, you know, it still happens, but it's not like uh, just usually means when's the next check coming so I can buy something I don't need. And yeah, I'm still waiting for that, uh, still waiting for that stimulus check. Haven't seen it yet. I can't do my part to stimulate the economy. Sorry. I'm ready to do it. Ready to do my part to help America economy recover. Because boy, all those Republican governors sure want that economy to recover, don't they? I think they realize that the economy was the best bet that Trump had to Trump it going into uh, the election. And now it's in the tank and bye-bye. Uh, and on that upbeat note, I'll say, uh, take care of yourself. It's 
dragging on, I know, but we, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We do have deadlines coming up. You be safe. Cough, elbow, hands, wash, face, no touch, mask wear. Dodada Gori.